Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. This week I want to talk about Microsoft Outlook and how you go about sending an email to a group from there. Last week I talked about sending an email to a group from Gmail. This week I thought I'd cover the same process but in Outlook, the corporate email program from Microsoft. Outlook is often used by big companies and I use it for work. It's not my favourite email client, I now actually prefer Gmail but it does do a lot of things well. It's just a bit big and clunky and hard to use at times. One of the things that can be difficult is how to use contacts and groups. Almost everyone I know relies on the fact that when they type somebody's email in, it just pops up because it's one of the recent ones that they sent an email to or received an email from. And that feature is kind of handy, but sometimes you want to manage an actual group yourself. Group management is done down here at the bottom left. You've got icons for your email, where most of us spend most of our time, calendar, where I occasionally spend some of my time, and then contacts, which I hardly ever use. There's also a tasks icon, but I don't think I've ever used it. In this case, we want contacts. So if you click on the contact, I've got here my list of contacts. I thought I'd mix it up a bit and add in the modern Doctor Who companions. No, I don't have anything against the 13th Doctor. I just haven't watched that series yet because I haven't been able to get the whole family together to catch up that far. So we want to create a group where we can email all of them together. Using the arrow beside new contact you can drop down this menu and select contact group. Then I click the add members button over on the right and I can add the members to this group. And here we can create a group where we can add in all of the contacts that we need we could either search for them individually by name, or in this case, because it's all of them, I could just select them all and add them to group. And now the group's been created and I can see all of the members that are in it. To use this group, I go back to the email part, start a new email, and in the to field, I just type in the name of the group. If I need to check it, I can press the plus button and it actually expands the group out to all of the individual emails. So like I did last week, I can remove one email if I need to for a special reason or just double check to see that all of the people I want are actually in that group. Then I can compose my email and I'm done. I hope that was helpful for you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you navigate your technology maze and become your own technician. We release new videos every weekend and you can make sure you get notified about them all by clicking on the subscribe button down here. There's also some videos from the past that you may not have seen before here and here. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and have a great day.